Porn and we're back at it again today with another YouTube video. My shirt's all jacked up underneath my fucking jacket. But hashtag biker problems. Well, what do I know? I'm just a dumb biker. Are you running into issues with the Hero 5? That's not really surprising, to be honest. The auto turn on feature that I was so proud of in the beginning that all the GoPros have kills the microphone. Right now, I'm on my way to drop the bike off at the American Motorcycle Show that's happening this weekend. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do this video, if I'm gonna upload this video before or after, I don't know, because I upload, I made another video talking about the Great American Motorcycle Show uh, a couple days ago, or yesterday. I've never really used the 250 in a daily application. And that's gonna be uploaded today, but the audio got fucked up and the camera angles are fucked up and uh, everything's fucked up about it, to be honest. So just assume that by now I figured it out because I'm an American. But yeah, so I, I do have some big news up and coming in the way. I don't know if I should talk about this now or not. Fuck it, I'm gonna talk about it now. I, I wasn't gonna for a little while because, you know, reasons. For those who've been around for a long, long time, you guys remember Laura, my, uh, my girlfriend that I dated for, for around two years while managing the channel and I got in an accident and she helped me uh, do videos for a while and I'm sure those who've been around for a long time remember Laura. I still see comments about her every now and again. Her and I are getting back together. It's uh, like an official thing now. I don't want to call it a trial run because that makes it sound like we don't know. Like, like I'll be honest with you guys, I love her. I haven't been able to not love her since like day one of us breaking up, you know, it just, needed to take some time off, I guess. I don't really know how to describe this. Uh, this is awkward, I guess. But here's here's what you should know about the subject. I absolutely love her to death, and I have not been able to not love her. We've tried before, but it we have tried, in fact, before to, to rework things out, but I wasn't ready just because, I don't know, maybe I wasn't I knew what I wanted, I just wasn't sure if I wanted it. It, it kind of fucked shit up. God, this is this is hard to talk about. It's genuinely hard for me to talk about. Usually I can just have shit fall out of my mouth and things happen, but but this is a sensitive subject and I want to make sure it comes out right for you guys so you guys know. You know, obviously she still loves me too. We, we both have been really good friends for a while. Like, we still talk. Even when we weren't dating, we still were friends. And in truth be told, she was my best friend. She has always been my best friend, and it, it was hard not having her in my life. We had to step away from some things, and we figured it out. And we're ready to attack it again. Full fucking force, you know? Her and I versus the world. Now, I, I realize that if you guys are still new to the channel within the last year, then you guys don't know who I'm talking about. But if, if you just go back and watch some of my old videos, really, really old videos, and you'll get a you'll get a good idea of who Laura is. You know, I can't wait to have her back a part of the YouTube channel again. She I know there's a lot of questions you guys probably have regarding previous relationships and shit like that. And I, I just don't want to answer those right now. I'm I'm not in the mood to talk about those right now. I just want you guys to know what's going on that, you know, that Laura and I are, are gonna make things work. And I hope you guys are excited for it because it's a big deal. Will she be riding? Uh you know, I don't know. She's talking about getting another bike. She, she's since sold her bikes and she hasn't really had a chance to ride and do anything like that in a while. And I want to do good old fashioned dual vlogs with her and I again. Some of the best times on the channel. Maybe we can get a little open road here. We'll do a little blasty blast, pasty pass. that was but it felt insane Woo! god that is better than coffee you know Laura and I have been talking for a long time and we've been trying to just be friends and it just doesn't it just doesn't work with her and I man it just and I don't want to be just friends with her you know I don't I don't really know how the relationship looks on camera but man we had shit figured out we really did and I hate that it took me so long to realize that that was what was really important to me I haven't been this happy being with her 
in a long time and you know and it's it's kind of hard to tell you guys that because I think a lot of people view me as a happy guy and I am like I'm generally pretty happy I mean I got a lot of things and a lot of reasons to be happy especially with what I do and how I do it man it, there's a lot of reasons for me to be happy but I wasn't as happy as I was with Laura and I haven't been this happy in a long time and things are gonna be different with her and I than it was probably before you know we're, her and I are a little bit more relaxed now there's a lot of different lessons and, and skills that I had to learn and I kind of had to be a little bit more on my own for a while to, to figure some shit out. And like I said, this is this is hard to talk about, you know, and it's kind of personal information, but I feel like you guys deserve an explanation as much as, you know, anybody else. Because you guys are a part of my family, you know? All 960,000 of you guys. Even though there's a lot of people who aren't active on the channel. I'd say there's a solid 600,000 people on my channel who don't participate in anything. Like, people who've subscribed and forgotten about it don't, don't get the notifications because YouTube sucks cock. I appreciate all of those who are going to be supportive. And I know there's going to be a bunch of questions about some shit that I don't feel like addressing right now. I'll address that in the future. I, I just don't feel like doing it in this video. I won't lie, this is something that I've been wanting to happen for a hot minute. And I'm, I'm glad that it's happening. Oh, shit. It's a fire truck. I absolutely love fire trucks, man. You have no idea. I don't know why. I just absolutely love fire trucks. They make me happy. <laughs> fire trucks. Maybe it's because it starts with F and ends in UCK. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Whew. Shoelace got caught up in something. What the fuck? Short shift in like a motherfucker too to keep that front wheel from coming up. I, I, I'll only talk about this a little bit longer then I'll, I'll switch subjects here just because I'm not sure <laughs> if there's much else I can say right now. But, uh, so hopefully in the future you guys will be seeing her very soon. Oh, this little girl's looking at me. The fuck you looking at? But yeah, so you'll probably be seeing her very soon. Now on another note, I, uh, I plan on doing some, some custom body work. I don't want to say body work, but maybe some, uh, maybe a custom skin here on the uh, H2 really soon. I got a couple ideas in mind. I'm going to run them by Justin, and then uh, we're going to do a video on that shit as well. Oh, uh, here we go. I don't think you're supposed to stop on both sides. How about you hustle it along? Let's go, quit talking, let's move, hello. I think I'm almost there, or maybe not. I thought I was way closer than I was, but I guess I'm not. Oh my God, dude, traffic today's been fucking awesome. Let me be the first to say this. I haven't been down here in forever. Nice blinker, ass. Oh, you got a Hillary Clinton sticker on it, that explains why. Or is the arrow on that supposed to represent which direction you're not turning? Fuck you. The Corvette is basically done too. The uh, the build. People keep asking why I didn't just buy a Z06. It's like the way I'm doing it's much cheaper than going in the route of a Z06. I've uh, I've spent significantly less money than if I were to have bought a Z06 or even a Grand Sport actually. If you go the route that I went, it's fucking way cheaper. I'll have to explain that in a different video. But the build on the Corvette's almost done. I, I only want about 800 horsepower, somewhere around there. I'm gonna achieve that with meth. And then the body's done, the wide body. I'll get the new wheels, do some like little accenting bits here and there, we'll be done. Oh shit, I'm right here. Here's the Galleria Center. <clears throat> I think I gotta go around back. Go onto the footbridge to connect to the mall. Take the next light. This is where the motorcycle show is at. I'll be recording some stuff here. They want me to like, sign shit and hang out and do things which I think is weird I always find the fact that people want me to sign stuff is weird I don't want people to get me wrong and think that I don't enjoy it I actually quite fucking love doing it I just always find it weird that people want me to sign things it's like Dan can you sign this I'm like yeah sure I'd be happy to all right is that that's Laura right there <laughs> Guys. 
You guys know where the uh, Wild Motorcycle booth is? Wow. Yeah. Cut it? Gotta I gotta walk it? Man, I got baby legs, dude. <laughs> Am I supposed to fucking toddler push this whole thing here? Day, All right, here I go. On. I'm gonna just push it like a normal person. <laughs> I got baby legs, man. I can't push this shit. I don't wanna drop this thing in front of everybody. It'd be fucking hilarious. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> I bought you a 250 horsepower problem. <laughs> Here you go. Then I had to push it all the way in. My, my fat ass. <laughs> oh, that's my booth? Alright. I'll be here at around 11 then. Okay. No. I'm just exhausted. Love you, Candy. Alright.